an 18 month period, which most recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Southern Miss has been recognized for its volunteerism and service to the community by the Carnegie Foundation. We are one of 115 higher education institutions across the country recently selected to receive the 2010 Community Engagement Classification. Now I'm here with uh, Dr. Dick Conville, who is Professor of Communication, who was, has been very instrumental in the development of our volunteerism and the culture of volunteerism at Southern Miss. And so I wanted to get his take on this great honor. Dr. Combo, what does this honor say about Southern Miss and its commitment to service? It says several things. Some of the schools that uh, were inducted this year include uh, Auburn, Florida State, and Georgia. Uh, private schools like uh, Hope College in Michigan, Wake Forest, and, uh, and Oberlin. Uh, so we're in, it puts us in good company. But beyond that, we, we knew that already. It sure is nice to have uh, uh, an institution as prestigious as Carnegie to affirm that. Can you give us some examples of the <coughs> kinds of activities our faculty and staff and students do to serve the community? One of the terms you learn within the service learning community is the term community partner. Uh, Aldersgate, for example, is one of our longer standing community partners. It's an after school program in East Hattiesburg. And every semester there are 8, 10, 12 USM students uh, helping them do their work of providing a safe uh, place for kids to be after school and to help them with their homework and tutoring and play games and the, with the refreshments. Uh, if you ask Linda Dixon, the director, she'll say they couldn't do what they do without our students uh, helping them there. Uh, another is the uh, Edward Street Mission. Uh, this it, it's a food bank out uh, Edward Street in Hattiesburg. Serves over 800 families in that community. And uh, there are three different classes. Uh, this uh, semester, actually it'll, it'll be a three-year project. Three different classes, uh, USM classes, who are helping design a playground, uh, pl designing and planning a garden, and creating a nature trail. Well, we know how important this uh, volunteer activities are to the university. We know how important it is to the community. How does it fit into the educational process? You sort of alluded to that in your last uh, comment. The term, another piece of the language in, in civic engagement is service learning. And the, the service part is probably pretty, pretty clear. Uh, I in, involve, I invite uh, my students to uh, go into the community and, and do some good. But to close the other half of that circle, they bring that experience into the classroom and that uh, concrete hands-on experience helps them learn the course content better. Mm -hmm. uh, a level of engagement is there that's uh, just not there if you're memorizing uh, terms out of a textbook or only uh, uh, learning or studying lecture notes. When, uh, when students at, at Aldersgate, for example, see a couple of students, uh, maybe third graders, get into a squabble of some kind and the, and the student is there to observe it and maybe to intervene if, if it seems appropriate, then we're studying conflict management in my course. And the light bulbs come up, wait a minute. <laughs> They were doing things I read about in the textbook, and, and uh, some of them worked and some of them didn't. They're able to, uh, to get uh, concrete examples of exactly the kind of things we're working with in class. And the, the upshot is the learning is deeper, stronger, greater engagement. What do you, would you like to see a student take away from this experience, from a volunteering experience? One of the uh, things that the uh, research shows is that students who engage in either volunteer uh, service during college or in service learning uh, tend to stay on for graduation more often. There, there are retention implications for uh, service learning and uh, student volunteer work. And uh, the research also shows they make better alumni. They're more likely to join alumni associations and make contributions in the future. So there are some 
some very practical uh, outcomes. And so there is uh, the, the notion, I guess, largely conceived of creating better citizens. If, if folks have had hands-on experience in their communities and have made a difference, they are more likely to participate in the political process and participate uh, in their communities as, uh, as they grow into older adulthood. How would you advise a student to have the best experience possible? I, I love your statement. Uh, sounds like I'm pandering, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, what is it? Ride all the rides? That, that has stuck in my mind since you, uh, you, first, uh, you first came. Well, one of those rides is uh, getting involved in either volunteer uh, work. Our Office of Community Service Learning is a kind of clearinghouse. If someone wants to get involved in any kind of volunteer work, you, you go to that office and uh, Josh Duplantis has a long list of community partners who need, need students, their, their energy and their, their knowledge. Anything else you'd like to add? There, there is a 20-year history across uh, several university presidents, in, including, of course, yourself, uh, that has, who have supported uh, the university's initiatives in uh, civic engagement. All of that has, uh, has enabled us to create a culture of service and uh, a culture of service learning so that it complements uh, the, the, the teaching enterprise. And so there's not just an effect on students, but there's an effect on faculty reconceiving uh, the way they teach and ways to uh, involve their students, uh, not only in the discipline, but in raising the question of how the discipline can make life better for real people in, in this community and beyond. Well, thank you, Dr. Condell, for your time and for your service to service.